Wow, wow, wow. I am live and uh, oh my goodness. Today is the 10th of February 2020 and um, this is like the first live video I'm doing on this um, IG handle of mine. You know, uh, my name is Maria Banga and I am a psychotherapist and lawyer and la 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 la. But above all, I am a mother. And um, today I am going to just focus on my motherhood and my son. It's my first son. Um, I'm so excited. I'm even kind of nervous. Why should I be? <laughs> we talk at home every day. The last time we had a live video was in 2020 when the pandemic hit. And um, I just wanted to check in on them and stuff like that. Uh, so um, I hope he's going to be ready so that we don't uh, we don't spend too much time. Yeah, I've invited him. Oh wow! Thank you, thank you for joining. <laughs> My invitee is not even there yet. I hope he's going to join anytime soon. I haven't done an IG live inviting somebody, but I think that it works. So I really hope that it's going to work. And my son is going to join and we are going to um, have a great time together. Ah, okay. Yeah, well, what does that mean? Oh, okay, no, I don't want to add you. It's my son that I want to add. So I'm waiting for him. In the meantime, here is a little bit of my story with my son and my sons. I have three sons, right? I'm only a mother. No, not that I'm only. I'm a mother of three. I, I gave birth to three. Aha, uh -huh, he has joined. Aha, uh -huh, my son is here. So how do I add you, my son? Alan, you have to come and teach me how to do these things. Where are you? I cannot see you. Oh, okay, that's Alan. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, so how do I add you? Let me see how I add you. That's how I add you. Okay. Ah. <laughs> okay, I, I think I have just accepted. I didn't know you were the one, so... Aha. Uh -huh. Oh! <laughs> Hi, darling. How are you? <laughs> oh, this is the first time I'm doing an IG live and I'm inviting somebody and that is my son. Wow. Yes. I'm so excited. Me too, me too. Why are you excited? Uh, well, because it's been long since we had uh, a live. Huh? Because it's been long since we had a live. <laughs> okay, so where do we start? You remember the last time we did uh, a Facebook live video was when the pandemic struck, right? In March 2020. And, and since then, we haven't done any video together. And I'm just like, I mean, even on your birthday, we didn't do a live video together. So I just want to find out, like, how are you doing? In reading books and skills, you know, one of the best things that I've been taught. So it's been great. I used to be so worried that you don't sleep enough. No, I sleep enough. I sleep enough. <laughs> so, if I should ask you three things, three significant things that have impacted your life. Uh, on our journey since 2020 to today, what are you saying? Well, you need to control your, control your temper, to 
Tu conduis bien pas. Yeah. Uh, another thing would be not to fake it, to be yourself. Your authentic self, uh-huh. Number three. And the third thing is <laughs> that's all it is. Okay. Give one more, two more, how you want. Okay, one more be to do your best. Huh? To do, your best, to, do your best. to do your best. Talking about doing your best, Alan. How do you feel being 18? That's adult, right? That feels great. That's actually shaking. Feels great. When you are shaking like that, there's an interference. I don't know what's happening. Can you hear me very well? Yeah, I hear you loudly. I can hear you too, but it looks like there's something around you there. Or maybe it's the connection between that, um, is it, what do you call it, iPod? Nah, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, okay. So, um, it feels good, and you've been doing your best, and um, this is your second app, right? Yes. How did you even get into apps? I don't even know how to start. I mean, myself, it's been really, really long. So I can't really point to what I want to do. When I started, I started with websites. I started studying websites and grammar, grammar kind of promoted interest. You know, that was something that is more constructive than watching the table, something like that. Yeah. yeah. From website now, I discovered that you can also make apps. Uh, I used to make games, but that's an interesting thing to get I discovered it was a state process. You have to, they have to websites, they have apps, they have apps. So, so I made websites. Then I started learning tutorials on YouTube to learn how to make apps. Yeah. Wow. What a, what a constructive and productive use of your data, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I remember we were discussing how you could keep yourself busy during the pandemic. And I was like, yeah, you can do those YouTube videos, the sports you picked up so well, and the basketball. But I didn't know that you were also now going into apps and all of this um, other stuff, right? Apart from the website. Wow. Yeah. So well, talk, to, sure. talk to me about the first app and uh, what happened to the first app and before we get into this other app. The first app was team messaging, was a messaging app just like WhatsApp or Telegram. And I think it didn't go so well because actually uh, I was just designing it until I could like any good it or even to build it. So the uh -huh. website I was doing it. So the website was uh, you have an idea, you go to the website, you try to design some parts, then you do the building themselves. Then you pay for because you put that in Play Store, it's with five dollars you pay the grammar PD, and then you put it in Play Store. Are you back? Yes, yes. Yeah. So the app thing goes so well. Since I don't have much freedom of how to the interface and to work on the interface of the app, I don't have much freedom of it. So I have to let go of the app and constitute on learning how to actually code, how to actually code the app itself. So. And I have to go and learn Java, some JavaScript, some C, and programming languages, and all of them. And on this second app. And how did you feel when um, the app crashed, kind of? Well, very first, because uh, 2018 wasn't good at all. And I knew now that we must spend $25 and after it was gone. <laughs> and that was not really interesting. So talk to us about the second app, this one, eShopping. Where did the inspiration come from? So the inspiration came in because Usually every Sunday, Grandma and I go to, to spa, whatever. So 
supermarket to buy your things. Yeah. And after we buy a lot of things, after we buy a lot of things, we'll go to the checkout to get our, our receipt. So at the checkout now, after the the cashier will take it in or we have a price put in and see from that to that she likes paying me to move my money. She will know how to take my eyeglasses because she she doesn't see that. Uh, their eyeglasses. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, and she will uh, uh, she put his star, want to see it. She put the code on the case. Then she wants to put the how much she has got it to down. And if you feel she has to start again. And other people be here waiting. And we're still here. And she gets stressed up. And that was really funny. So I was like, but this code is standard. And this price is broke. It's ourselves. Because the other times when you really have the money in cash, right? But when now you go get a case and you spend like let's say nine thousand nine hundred, and and you have ten thousand, if you didn't know, then you wish they are asking for one hundred or more. They will have to pull them off cash. Whereas if you knew from this get go where you reach it, that you spend that day, you will not go and worry yourself and worry yourself then. And also, it goes to help because you get more than what you have as money. So with the app, you cannot calculate how much you have. I know exactly if you have got a good budget or not. Wow. And in, in how many currencies uh, is that app applicable? Like, and stuff like that. And um, um, I, I saw something when I downloaded it. You could actually uh, put in your um put in everything and put in your mode of payment and then just go and do the password when you get to the to the teller stuff like that okay i'm uh, actually me to about you check me out about you here okay yeah so this is the main app where you can put the app this is the first thing that will come in yeah how much you use uh-huh you select, it's a drop down here Come yeah this FCFD, that's France, this the dollar, this is the euros, the pounds, sterling, and the yen. Uh-huh. That's probably the price that you Then once you are done putting the cash that you have in your pocket, you can now go shopping. Uh-huh. So shopping now, you wish to the price of items. Uh-huh. Where an item, for example, you take item one, you put the price in here, and you can put how many of them you have taken. Yeah, you give it the total directly. You send it for item two and so on. You can even add new items. Like uh-huh. you can just go to the post over here that says add new items. So when you click here, the new sheet, just like this one, will get down here and you can add them. And all of them now will sum up over here with the total. Will sum up over here so you know exactly. Even though it's calculated here, you add all these ones here. Uh-huh. Here. Then now we can proceed to check out. So I made an example, for example, of that in the second page. For example, we went to the supermarket and we bought sugar, let's say sugar for 2,000 pounds of sugar. One packet, that would be 2,000 there. I came to, let's say bread, packet of bread, two packets, that would be 1,000. And uh, milk, we need milk for 100, bought 20 of them, that would be 2,000. So the app will calculate all of this for you, it's calculating for you, and give you the grant to the over here. Then I can proceed to check out. So I check out now. So I check out now. That's the receipt. It shows your total purchase. Uh-huh. Going cash, let's say, that uh, 10,000 and your balance, which is now 5,000. And you can even pay through MTM mobile money or wish money. That's a future, which is still ongoing, but uh, it's there. So, so some people can pay through MTM money or money if they're the shop where it's acceptable there. So for example, if you click on MTN over which money this will this will appear where you can pick the supermarket. For example, let's say I pick spa come on. spa on a baby. You pick the checkout point, whether it's checkout one or checkout two, and then you show this code. This is the code I was talking about that you have to type all of this. Is really having it, and this is the total purchase day, which is already there. So, once you click confirm, the app now sent all of this into your call app. 
what all you have to do now is dial and then input your code like you, you normally do for push money. And your payment is done and you're happy. So this year you're happy and you've done your, your transaction. Right, all right. Wow. That's yeah. cool. So before you get to the teller, you have already done like all your own, uh, your own, uh, how do you call it? Your own pricing, your own tally, your own invoicing. Yes. And then you just get there now to pay. Exactly. It's almost like before you go to the airport, you weigh all your things at home. So you, you have that weight. You don't go and get embarrassed at the airport. Then you have to start removing things from inside your luggage and throwing it away. I remember once I went to Carrefour when it was just open. And those girls that they tell us, they used to be so fast, fast, fast. It's just like out there abroad, you know, you just put it up, up, up. But out there, you have the possibility of scanning the things you buy. So you can just have the prices. But out here, you don't have that. So I took many things and then I got there and then I could not... Um, I mean, I didn't have money to pay for all of that. So I yes. I had to now start removing things and leaving them on top of the of the counter. There. And I just felt some embarrassed. And I was like, maybe I should have bought a pen and paper to be writing the things and writing the prices and calculating them or using the calculator on my phone. But this one is at least better. And you and it stays in the it stays in your in the archives, right? In the memory, so you can always check up. Is that what happens? Yes. Well, I'll put a letter on, but I was also thinking about that. So that at least it's there, and if you have to go back home and show, it's exactly where I've done it, you'll be there. So that's an uh, update. I, I went to my email the very day I downloaded it. I'm going there again um, shortly so that I can still use the app, and then I can now go and leave a review on Play Store. I didn't even start by telling you that you just made me so proud of being your mother. I'm like, wow, this is the second app and the first one crashed and you didn't give up. That was so motivating. And you know, you're, uh, no. you're yeah. <laughs> no, I'm trying my best to like not give up because after all, the man who created the bulb, the light bulb. Yeah. You know, this light bulb that we're using, right? Yeah, he had 1,000 failures. Before he made the 1001, which was successful. Oh, Lord. So I cannot be giving on number two. Oh, my goodness. Wait, you have left the room now. The volume is better. I can ah, yeah. hear you so well. I hope that people are not going to say, ah, what was he saying? We didn't hear him. <laughs> but um, it, was, it was well explained. And um, I'm hoping that you are going to do kind of a blob, you know, just displaying all what you displayed with the paper so that. Um, it can be short and catchy, and people can, you can, I can put that on my YouTube channel. You can put it on your own. We can I easily send that out to people, like a pitch. You know what a pitch is, right? No. A pitch, when you want to prospect something, you want to prospect your service to people, it's called a pitch. So, oh, okay, you, okay. yeah, you do something like almost two minutes and explaining your product, and then. You send it to post to people, and then they can quickly see and uh, decide if they're trying or not. It's just like the write up, right? But this one is a video yeah. form. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I just want to encourage you to do a pitch because this one is a chat between you and I. Not everybody is going to watch this. But if you do a pitch, that is more catchy. And um, you see, like what I, I did myself to, to put it out there, right? It was almost two yeah. minutes or one minute something. Yeah, that was a pitch, but it was more of an emotional pitch. But you, you do okay. just the product pitch. Okay, I understand. Wow. I'm so proud of you. Any, any final word? You know, I sometimes look at your generation. I call them generation X, Y, Z. I don't know which particular <laughs> one you are, but it's all of that generation. And I see sometimes they're like bored. They're like... Oh, things are not working. They are, I'm like, but in my house, uh, nobody is really bored. You know, I mean, although Gabi goes around playing, but that's also because he's not just sitting at home. Playing is actually better than just sitting there on the chair and grumbling and just swiping, swiping on social media. So I don't know what you can say yeah. to your generation. Yeah. Well, um, trying to read books. It would be the best thing to start 
read like one um, page even and go from there. Not only school books, you can read any, any book. Any book is, so far as I read books because just like sport is to the body, reading is also to the mind. Yeah, the son of an author. How would you not talk like that about books? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know that some children whose parents are authors and they don't read books. So let me not make like it's automatic. I mean, I just admire yeah. the way you read books. And how many of my books have you read again? Uh, out of six, because I think that six of them are read four. No, no, there are seven actually. There are eight now, even. Okay, seven. Yeah. <laughs> eight now. Yeah, there are eight. So you read like four. That's good, then. Eh? Wow. And I know that you've yeah. also given some to some of your friends to read. <laughs> yeah, yes, I have. Okay, well, that's good. So they should read books. What other thing can they do? Mm. The network is not the best at home. He's home, right? I'm in my office. But um, we are almost at the end. And, uh, he was just talking about his app and we we're just catching up on stuff. Yeah, we are in the same house and we catch up each day. But at least during this live, the last time we did it was two years ago. So um, it was beautiful. And um, okay, well, I think he's out of credit and stuff. So that's okay. I'm not going to um, drag this any further. I just wanted to do this with my son. You know, um, and also because I'm just so beaming with pride at his uh, progress, his second app. And I really wish that uh, people would download this app, you know, to support this young man and also to give it a try because it's very practical for me. Like no more embarrassment going to pick this, pick things up in the supermarket and then I cannot even pay for all of those things and I have to start putting things aside. The best thing is pick up, put them in, get the total be sure about my money, and then go to the teller. So thank you so much, uh, those who joined and those who are going to watch later. Uh, I think we are going to be having another live because um, at some point also the audio wasn't the best, but uh, I'm just grateful that I did this. And uh, when he does a pitch, I'm also going to share his speech. And then, well, let's keep, let's keep trying our best. He said three things. He said the first thing was, control your anger. He learned how to control his anger during these two years that it was very important to control your temper. The second thing was, um, what did he say? I cannot remember. The third thing was, oh no, the second thing was uh, something. The third thing was always try your best. So there were three things I, I'm going to ask him and I'm going to write them down. Thank you so much, everybody. Do have a wonderful Thursday afternoon. God bless us all. Courage to all parents, guardians, and well, I'm a single mom, so I'll always be kind of biased. Single mothers or single parents out there.